I totally understand how frustrating this can actually be. So in the next two minutes, I'll be giving you two reasons why this actually happened and the best solutions to get them resolved. You need to pay attention to the second reason because it's very important. But the first reason is actually device or application compatibility. I've spoken about this on my previous video, so I will not be talking about it much. However, I'll be leaving the video at the end of this video. So if you are yet to watch my previous video on device or application compatibility, you can click on the video at the end of this video or I'll be leaving the link to the video in the description of this video. You can click on it and check how the application or device compatibility can lead to this issue. And next up, and the most important, we'll be talking about the second issue. That is the device IP issue. Yes, you had me right. Your device IP can actually lead to this thing you can see on the screen. So the big question is, how does your device IP actually lead to this issue? I'll be breaking it down for you so that you can understand how this actually works. Let me first of all ask you a question. Is your phone a brand new phone or a pre-used or a pre-owned phone? Let me know in the comment section if your phone is actually a brand new phone. Did you buy your phone a brand new or you bought your phone as a pre-used phone? Some of us call it London use or foreign used phone. With all that being said, guys, this is how this actually plays an important role in this issue. So from my recent findings, this issue is due to Meta flagging that device as being fraudulent. Let me quickly explain this. Some of those used phones you buy from the market have been used for one activities or the other, like we call them Yahoo or scam. So once Meta detects that this phone has been used for a scam or a fraudulent activity, that device IP gets flagged. And once that device IP gets flagged, Meta brings down your WhatsApp. And this does not happen with that first SIM card or the first phone number you use in opening that WhatsApp. It happens each time you use any new phone number on that device. So each time you open a new WhatsApp with a new SIM card on that phone, that WhatsApp gets banned. And that's because that IP address has been flagged by Meta for being fraudulent. And even if you got a brand new phone or a pre-used phone, and at that point, the IP address has not been flagged as being fraudulent, there are certain activity that can actually trigger search. Let me quickly share that with you. For example, you got your phone and you borrowed it to a friend or a neighbor or some random person that in turn locked in a compromised or fraudulent meta account into that device, be it WhatsApp, Facebook, or Instagram. If that account has been flagged or been sensed as a fraudulent account or a compromised account, that account that was logged into that phone can actually trigger Meta to flag your phone's IP as being fraudulent. And if any WhatsApp come into that phone, you definitely get banned. So here are two solutions in order to get that issue resolved, but you will not like the second one. For the first one, guys, the first thing you need to do is to uninstall the WhatsApp if it's on the phone, uninstall your Instagram if it's on the phone, and uninstall your Facebook. Once you have all of those uninstalled on your phone, the next thing you need to do is to go to your App Store or your Play Store. You get a good working VPN. I suggest Windscribe or Thunder VPN. For example, if you download the Thunder VPN, get the VPN running on your phone, once you install the VPN, you head up to this section, you select the country, you select any of this country you can see on your screen, select it, then you click on connect. Once the VPN is connected, you might get a prompt to allow VPN to run at the background of your phone. Please permit that prompt. Once you do that and the VPN is running successfully on your phone, the next thing you need to do, guys, is to head straight to your App Store or your Play Store with that VPN connected and download the latest version of WhatsApp. Once you download it, go ahead to impute your phone number and this has a success rate of about 95%. Yes, you can try this out and let me know in the comments section. And the second solution to this is for you to format your phone, not factory reset. Yes, you need to format your phone. You take it to a technician, 
let the technician know that you are actually having an IP or a compromised IP issue so the technician can actually format that phone and maybe rebuild a new IP on that phone and if that happens this actually have a success rate of about 100% you can go ahead and try these tips out and I bet you they will definitely work for you so like I promised from the beginning if you are yet to see this video where I talk about device and app compatibility, you can click it now and check it out.